Hi, and welcome to Dad is a Joke. And today we're doing another episode of Retro Arcade versus Retro Console Games. Now, today we're going to be looking at good old Battlezone, another huge, humongous hit for Atari back in the day. Another great uh, vector graphics game. Uh, again, let me tell you a little bit of personal history. Uh, born and raised in Montreal, one time my family and I went down to Toronto for some sort of get together i don't remember and we stayed at a hotel in downtown uh, in downtown toronto and uh, being the age i was at and the video gamer that i was uh, that i was i sought out the game room and this is what was right in front of me when i walked into the room uh never played it before totally intrigued and once i played it i totally fell in love with this game great little simulator type of game i loved how you had the sights that you sort of stood up to the machine had the sights and used the, the dual controllers to move around uh which was just just like driving a tank and it was just just an awesome game to play so we're going to take a look at it right now throw in the credit press start and hopefully not get blown up right away oh jesus he moved come on Oh, how can I miss? Ah! Come on. I'm better at this game. What? Why are you moving? Stop moving. And I like how the sights locked onto the target. There we go. He's gone. Let's see what else is going to show up. There we go. Right by his turret. Great. Uh, got him too. And another thing that I didn't realize when I was younger is that radar at the top of the screen was like, ugh. Didn't see that coming. Is the most important thing in this game. The most important. Oh, Jesus. Missed him. How can I miss? There we go. The background with the volcanoes. Very cool. I mean, this game was way ahead of its time. For 1980, I mean, seriously. Oh, got him too. You is that a UFO? Uh, that's the UFO, I think. Oh, something on the side here. Get get over there. Oh, he does. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, damn it! No, nope, missed. Come on, fire! Ah, nope. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, there we go. Five grand. Let's try this again. And the green vector graphics fits it. I mean, it would have been nice if it was colorful, but the green just speaks sort of, you know, military. Again, for 1980, what do you, what do you expect? But again, the game was way, way ahead of its time. Ah! Oh. Enemy in range. Ooh, he just missed. There's the UFO. Hit it. Come on. Oh, that. See? Should have focused on the tank. Damn it. And this game is awfully difficult with a single joystick. Ooh, got my name up. Got my... There we go. Was it side to side or up and down? Come on. There we go. First place. Only eight grand. Who cares? Okay, let's go. Let's try one more time. Come on, get in there. Come on. Now he's backing up. Great. God, Jesus, get the shooting right. This is the first tank I can't even hit it. Spin around. Hopefully I can get him on his ass end. No, he's on the side. Gone. Nice. 
Well, and I... I wish they would take... Uh, they come from the distance and attack you. Some things they just appear in front of you, but... They're just a personal preference. Come on. Nope, he's moving. Gotta lead him. Lead. Oh, now he hides behind the... Come on. Jesus! Now, there we go. Oh, right in front of me again. On him, too. Let's see if we at least get 10 grand today. Oh, just graze the mud! Ah, Jesus! And we both shot each other. Well, that's it. That's that's battle zone for uh, for the arcade. 1980. Look at that. Atari 1980. Okay, let's go next. Now, being an Atari game, obviously the 2600 had it. So let's take a look at the 2600 game. It's been a while since I played this. I don't know if I remember it anymore. Okay, so obviously they didn't make it into vector graphics, so they had to adjust for that. But again, this was in the this this was a later stage Atari 2600 game. So at this point, they understood the system, they understood uh, the graphics capability, and they knew how to work within it. And by all means, it may not look like like for me when I was younger, it's like if it doesn't look like the arcade, it's crap. But now that I'm older, you start realizing well. You know, it's not feasible to be possible for that. And just look at the tank and the tracks. It actually looks pretty cool. And when you die, the whole screen scrambles up and, and you know, you die. So, it's not bad, actually. Okay, now behind me. Ugh, and he hits me. So, quite honestly, I'm like, this is not bad. And it... Ah! Why is everybody shooting at me? Stop it! Oh, UFO. Yeah, and the guy behind me nailed me. Oh my god, am I sucking out? Here, UFO again. Stop moving! Oh, tank. Got him. Explosions are customary Atari. There's just, there we go. There's just little nuances from Atari that just bring you back to the day. You know what I'm saying? Their sound effects. Ooh, ooh. Oh, got an achievement for that. Okay, something behind me. Spinorama. Oh! This is a lot of fun, man. Like, honestly, once... In the early days of the 2600, I mean, the games were very basic. And, and they just started to get to know uh, the, uh, the system. Uh, but once they did, like 82, 83, the games were just phenomenal. And they were a lot of fun. Let's try this again. I'm liking this. Come on, UFO. Please die. And stop moving! There we go, finally. Tank. He just nicked me. Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, well, well, we know we did, they made they didn't make the home port easy. Okay, tanks gone. Oh, both of them are gone. Nice. Who's this here? Got a tank behind. Okay, the UFO can wait. He doesn't shoot, but tanks do. Another one. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Ah. Okay. Now two. Oh, he's gonna fire. Oh. Nice try. Okay, there we go. Battles of the 2600. Not bad at all. Actually, very, very good. I completely forgot about this game. Actually, no, I played it. I had it, but I haven't played it in a long time. So this was very, very cool. Now, I do want to bring an honorable mention here, and I'll show you what I mean. Now, Activision was one of the best third-party companies uh, to produce video games for the Atari 2600. Uh, X8, uh, 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 Atari, um, X Atari um, employees who started their own company just so they can put their name on the game and have that recognition. And you know what? I'm glad they did that because to this day, we still know their names. We still know the work that they did. But one of my favorite sort of knockoffs of uh, eh, not really a knockoff I mean Activision was known to create their own games but they were influenced by the arcade games they weren't a complete copy of an arcade game they were influenced like Chopper Command was influenced by Defender there's you know various games like that Robot Tank was obviously um, uh, what's it called uh, influenced by Battlezone and because I want to show this, this is my favorite 2600 game. Absolutely my favorite. And I'll show you why. Because they did so much more to the game. Oh, Alan Miller made the game. There you go. So, it's not a third person view like you do in Battlezone. This is in Cockpit. And you have various, you have radar, your track. So every time you get hit, you can either blow up completely or different things like your visual for V, R is for, for your radar goes out, T's your tracks go out and you slow down. Plus, the weather changes. How cool is that? This is amazing. They did such a good job on this. So let's give this a start here. And I like how it bounces up and down like a real tank. Ugh. Uh, holy, this guy's relentless. And he's quick. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and you can shoot. Ah, you can shoot the, uh... Their shells coming at you. Here we go, nighttime. And you can't see shit until they fire. Which is really cool. I mean, they've done such a good... Ah! Where is he? There he is. Oh, no, no. Got nailed. Switching to... Re I like that. Switching to reserve tank. It's like, it's like a drone tank you're using. Again, uh, uh, way ahead of its time. They really thought this out. And I remember trying to buy this game at one time. I was at a store and they had a bin full of Atari games. So this must have been 84, 85 when everything was falling apart. So everything was like 10 bucks. Snow alert. Check this out. Now it's going to snow so your tank is a little bit slippery. Everything's gray and disgusting. And I got nailed. So I went through... Uh, sort of the bin with all these games found robot tank and guess what there was no cartridge in the box then I started looking at all the other games no cartridges in the box uh oh so my cannons broken a little bit so there was nothing there so whoever Whoever was there ripped ripped off the company like crazy and just stole everything. That was a really frustrating day. But I ended up getting it later at a later date. Come on. 
and that's the end of it mission ended okay that was just an extra side so let's move on to the next consoles uh for battle zone and i believe it's the 5200 uh battle zone for the 5200 there we go and let's see how this does now again i have a little series called atari 2600 5200 to see if the price difference and the and the upgrade in graphics was worth it to buy the more expensive 5200 or was it just cheaper and better to stay with the 2600 because if the graphics were more or less the same there was no reason to upgrade if it was a, a big jump because the hardware was based on the atari computers it should have been well worth it but let's take a look okay let me do my magic on the emulator here just bear with me oh come on there we go battle zone and it was a two chip 16 kilobit or kilobyte uh 5200 cartridge okay so this looks like it was one of the original cartridges and look at that it, it's already looking better 1983 wow the background looks kind of cool you know, uh, honestly i have never played this so this is all new to me and it's i'm just relaying my feelings on to you let's start to oops. that's that's cool i'm impressed so far now let's see how uh, enemy range behind to the left fire okay the gameplay is janky the, uh, the bullets look kind of like the background looks amazing Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, the UFO looks okay. But look at my shot, look how slow it is. What the hell's firing him? Hit it! Come on! Okay, I'm going after the tank, wherever it is. There it is. Uh, the tank looks kind of the same. I like that. That's kind of cool. But the game just feels... Eee, it doesn't play right. And there's like a lot of jumps in the animation. Shoot him. Hit him. Hit him. Why does it take so forever to, for the bullet to get there? The Atari 2600 just runs faster and smoother like the arcade. It's like the game's in slow motion. No, I'm not liking this. And this is not worth the money or the upgrade, honestly. 2600 was virtually that. Okay, breaks up into pieces. That's kind of cool, but... Ugh. No, not not overly happy about this. Look how janky this is. Yeah, okay, not no, no, no. This was not totally worth it. The twenty six hundred version was way better, even though this closely matches the Atari. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba, uh, oh, actually, it, it matches the arcade version. It's just slow, janky, and crap. Honestly. Honestly, I'm not happy with this. Okay, let's move on to the next. 
Let's see here. Seventeen hundred. Did they make one? I don't think so. All blazer. No, they did not. They skipped it for the seventy-eight hundred. Skipped the computers. Okay, ColecoVision. They must have. Beam Rider, Blockade Rider. No, no Battle Zone. Look at that. Battle Zone for Intellivision. Nope, not for that either. Neo Geo wouldn't be that. Nintendo, I doubt it very much. Battle Tank, but not Battle Zone. And I think that's it, folks. Yeah, that's it. So those are the ones. So they stopped at the 5200, which was unfortunate. They, they could have done a better version of the 7800. Like, again, the 7800, couldn't they just do better versions, like their own IPs? Like, I still don't get it. Anyways, folks, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you like uh, my videos for Dad is a Joke, please like, uh, please subscribe, and please, you know, hit the bell button so you know, because sometimes I do go uh, do live streams. And also, whenever there's uh, uh, an upload, you can get notification for it. And also, I'd like to thank everybody who is liking my pole position video, even though that video was just a just one screw up and fuck up uh, after another. Me having a frog in my throat, trying to clear it while talking, and everybody l seems to like it. So that's about it. Anyways, thank you everyone. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.